Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Well, uh, the Lord has spoken to me again about South Africa. And uh, the Lord Jehovah has shown me the big revival coming to South Africa. And also, he presented the conflict that is in South Africa in that dream uh, between the South Africans and the other immigrants. And uh, so the Lord is coming to bring revival and also to heal that land. This revival that is coming to South Africa is also going to reconcile the nation and the peoples of South Africa. And uh, he spoke again about big healing. And I see this little baby, I think it's crippled, that will get up. It's a black baby. It looks like it's a girl with a whitish dress that gets up and walks. So it's going to be a very massive time. It's going to be an awesome time, a refreshing time in the church in South Africa. And the Lord will do all these things in order to establish the gospel of righteousness and the return to holiness. Uh, the only way to prepare for the glorious kingdom of Jehovah. So the Lord is coming to address several issues in the church, but he will demonstrate his blessed visitation, his blessed anointing to the people of South Africa, that they may love him, they may now um, adhere to his voice and word and stick to righteousness, return to a holier Christian living than what you see today in South Africa. And by seeing this crippled baby, then I saw others, I think these were there for crippled also, but also sitting, having been healed, they have sat down, they are given chairs. So I know that uh, there will be chairs for the healed people to sit, as we do in Kenya here. And there is, but there is this little baby dressed in white, a black baby, very wonderful, precious baby, dressed in white, a whitish dress, a girl who stands up and walks. So it's going to be an amazing time in South Africa. But most importantly, within all that, is that in this visitation to love them, to raise the cripples from the ground and open the eyes of the blind and help the deaf and mute to be, be bound, to be set free and all diseases under the sun. However, in this is the message that the Lord is saying, the latter revival is here, the open heavens are here. So he is going to decree and open heaven over that land. He has already decreed, decreed open heavens over uh, South Africa. And so that, that will underscore the need for the church to be more righteous. That will affirm that this is the hour of holiness in the church. May those who have ears prepare because I have seen the Holy Spirit take the church. Just this month of June, the 2nd of June, the Lord spoke with me very profoundly about the coming of the Messiah, and I saw the Holy Spirit take the church. So this is the most interesting time in the history of church in which to be a Christian and to be alive and born again, that we may prepare to receive the Messiah. Shalom.